for our last video in this warm-up activity, um, what I want to do is I want to add a different feature to it so that it essentially does the same thing, but I want to show you how to do some things just slightly differently. And in our baby blue sensing area, I want you to notice that the top two choices, we use the second choice first. We use touching color and then a color block. And this time I want to just trade in another touching. And in this case, if you click the black down arrow, that's a indicator that there's more choices hidden. You can choose the mouse pointer. That would be for a completely different cave. You could choose if touching the edge, which is similar to our if on edge bounce from before, but we actually want to choose the fence. And, and that fence, this would be a list of objects that are not the cat because we're, we're using the kitty cat right now. So all the other objects that would be listed here would be, would fall under that would be in that list. So at this point, we want to say if touching the fence. So I'm going to take out this if touching color and put in if touching fence. And it should react exactly the same as it was doing before. I'm just going to speed this up back to 10 again, negative 10. And we'll increase that to, oh, let's say 82. All right, so let's have a look. OK. So essentially the important thing that I wanted here was I wanted to make sure that touching color and touching fence would do exactly the same thing, and they do. Uh, there are some glitches just in case you're ever using um, these costumes. So for instance, if I want to paint a new costume and I'm going to create something that looks like a big green blob, um, and then I will bucket fill that with more green. Um, there. So I, I can change my kitty cat into pretty much anything. Um, not really sure where this is going next, but there. How about a little green guy with a, with a mouth and a big green nose? And uh, what we can do here is instead of um, just using this color, we can actually convert it to a vector. And there's all kinds of different choices. But just so you know, there's vector choices are on this side, and then if I convert back to bitmap, bitmap choices are on that side. Uh, you don't really need to know a lot of details about it, but for right now, it's going to work better and easier if you just use these um, choices on the left-hand side. These are more familiar to people. This is more like regular painting. So just in case you choose to do that, and I'm actually going to go back to the cat costume. There we go. And then everything makes a little bit more sense. So have a little bit of fun playing around with costumes, have a little bit of fun playing around with sounds, have a little bit of fun um, playing around with the numbers in the script, and then we'll move on to an, a different warm-up exercise next.